What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first bit of news that we have on the new season, season 5. So there's a lot of stuff to get through here. Obviously we've got new cards, we've got new big time players, uh, we've got Per Mertesacker, we've got Gilberta Silva and Freddy uh, Jungberg who are going to be our epics and big time Mertesacker. I mean, he'll be interesting to see. We'll have all reviews on all of these, but we're going to go through everything with a weekly roundup and a roundup of season five. So this is probably going to be a fairly nice video if you guys are not able to be at your consoles and check everything out yourselves. Right, so we're going to go through everything. As we said, there's no events here um, with this. They have made a couple of additions in the trial match um, where you're able to like choose different balls and settings and stuff like that. But I'm not really going to go into the, you know, like little details like that it's more going to be a coverall of everything that they have added right so in dream team itself we will cover the events here the eFootball league has been reset so i was in division one um and now we are gone back down you get all your rewards when you go back into that we are down now to division three and as you can see there that the phase rewards are slightly different now because we're going to be getting skill trainers as well so that's quite decent um if you see your first time promotion rewards and phase rewards we're going to be getting the skill trainers in so they're really pushing the skill trainers which i think is a good a good thing right so if you are in division one uh yesterday or last week or whenever you finished you will be in division three if you ended in division two you'll be in division four if you ended in division five you'll be back to division nine or so uh eight or nine so it depends on your results depends on your positioning in phase nine we are now into phase 10 and that will bring us the whole way to the eighth of the sixth so it's a slightly shorter one but um yeah that would probably bring us to the next big update i would say in june so that is that the events here that we have we're going to take a look right so you know what you get with these ones you get your english league tour event which is going to be uh the reward of your free player of the week we also have the national teams that is still there against the ai that's been ongoing since uh since monday we also have the liga bb vamx that one is still ongoing um, we have the English League, which is the online. You get 50 coins for winning that one. So you know if you've been playing this for a while, lads, this is continuing on as well. The national team that has been extended a little bit, and that ends in three days as well. So you know what, you, what you're getting in that. As I said, the rest of everything here is pretty much the same. Now, there has been new player faces, new player appearances, and stuff like that. But for this, we're just going to be covering everything in Dream Team, right? So also with the game plan here, um, you are going to have more players out of contract. That's not going to be really a big deal unless you have barely any contracts. And then in the contract here where we have the new players, there is a ton of new players here up for grabs, right? So we've got the Arsenal FC Epic and Big Time Pack, which is going to be filled with 150 players. And these are the three legends that you get in it. You've got Mertesacker. Mertesacker, you've got Silva, and you've got Freddie Lundberg. So Lundberg actually has this appearance with the red hair, which is quite nice. But yeah, I mean, he's a good card, lads. He's a very good card. Uh, he'd be somebody that I'd be interested in. But yeah, at this stage in the game, I mean, these players are probably not going to shake it up too much. Although Mertesacker, with the height that he has, he might be the only man for collar, lads. We'll see. But he's got some good stats, even though he's incredibly slow. We will do a review on all of these, and we have Gilberto Silva now Silva looks like he could be a little bit meta lads he, he looks like he could be an absolute monster especially with those 31 levels to go um so yeah we will take a look at them in a little bit more detail uh later on in the day because we'll have all the reviews up we will be streaming later as well of course we've got the japan pack as well zico okazaki and inu these guys are available with uh, the same so there's 150 players in this and uh you will be able to get these again i think there should the odds should be a little bit better for players like that we also have the j league monthly v M mvps so these ones are available for coins so you've got 100 in that pack and you can see there these are the new cards that you see there um where they're all going to be different type cards with lots of points i mean this guy's got 56 levels 55 levels to go up which is insane um so you've got the j league player of the month mvp or the player monthly mvps and then we also have the player of the week there's a lot of cards here lads these are the player of the week this week with some uh, unique abilities uh fafana hernandez gunduan um i would also say lacazette looks good romero is quite decent we will have the review on them as well and of course you can get your free one with the events and then this e this eFootball championship this one and this one are all ongoing but these two are new right so these two are new here the league of epva was always there these are the new five star nominated contracts all the way to a three star nominated contract uh where we have a couple of players here that we 
Yeah, I mean, look, this is kind of a way of, of introducing new players into the game. That you're able to play 15 matches and then you basically just get a, a really good five-star player or a three-star or four-star with the match pass. We'll get to that in a second. So I would say, you know, Pope is there. He's a good player. Nuno Mendes is there. Bernardo Silva is going to be the pick of the pack. Um, we are lacking a DMF here. So we had Marquinhos and Fabinho in the last one. This time we are kind of, you know, this guy Casado is going to be an absolute monster. I already know by his card with 36 levels. And if you throw a blocker on him, he's going to be an absolute monster in the middle of the pitch as a box to box. So I'll probably sign him and do a review on him, but we will do a review on all of them. Okay. So you can just have a look there. We will do that in a separate video. There for a nominating contract. We'll get to that in a second on the match pass. And then the J League are the same. So these are these players are already maxed out. These are player of the month. And uh, you can have all of these with nominating contract as well. So you can see them all there, right? So moving on to the actual match pass then itself. We also have a, a new match pass, which we're going to see here, right? So in missions, we have a new match pass now for season five. So these are the special players. You've got Fafana there and you've got Vierman there. Both good players. I don't think that they're going to be, you know, absolute monsters. I think Fofana could be quite decent if you take a look at his stats. There is going to be similar to Casado that we had a second ago. Uh, both box-to-box -box players, depending on where you are in your dream team at the moment. But yeah, you've got all new. Everything is new here. It's all rinse and repeated. You've got your free five-star dominating contract there. So you can get a free Bernardo Silva after 15 matches, which is quite decent. Armit and Mendes or any of the players that you want here after 15 matches and then of course you've got your four star and of course you've got your two three stars so there is value in premium packs there as well if you wanted to unlock those for 500 and a thousand but that's pretty much all the content that they have added now people were asking me as well about the eFootball point shop uh with the new players and stuff as of right now we still have the exact same players there is no new players added to the eFootball point shop um, and also that goes for as long uh, as well with the strips there's no strips there that are are available either um so that's just something to keep in mind i don't know when they will add them but they will add them right we've also got new objectives and stuff like that as you usually have uh with the career objectives but the other objectives will be kicking off quite soon with season five okay so yeah season five is going to be all about when we go in here season five is going to be all about um you know challenge events and the team of it is going to be tied in every kind of week, right? Every week, starting from the fifth, the eleventh to the fifth, which is the English league today. Then it moves to the J League. Then it shifts to worldwide clubs, the BVA, back to English league and the J League, right? So this schedule is going to be, you know, it, your, it says here you're going to be able to get your hands on coins, skill trainers, level trainers, and other items as rewards. So this is the team in line with season five, okay? Which is going to be kind of like a European showdown kind of team, okay? So that's pretty much it, lads. Obviously, don't forget to get your login bonuses as well. We don't have any patch news or anything like that. I mean, people were saying uh, there was going to be a big patch today. I mean, I pretty much knew there wasn't going to be, uh, but I think that there will be one soon. You know, I think there will be one soon. So make sure you get all of these as well. Um, get your free login stuff, your bonuses, all that sort of goodies uh, that are there. And yeah, I mean, anything else that I missed, I can go back and cover in case I missed anything. There probably is a couple of things while I'm getting through this. As I said, a few players have got their new faces. We also have, as well as that, as far as I know, we have the new player form as well, the updates. Um, so make sure you keep an eye on that as well. We'll have an update on that as well. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the live stream today at 2 p.m. So in about four hours time, five hours time, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Until then, peace.